Craig? I hear you ask in your sexy, deep voice. What's that you got in your hand? Is that a hair of some sort? Red hair? I didn't think you even knew Lindsay Lohan. Anyway, you're the last type of person she'd let... Anyway, no, that's not the point. It's not hair, is what I'm saying. This is not hair. This is electrical wire gone wrong. <laughs> Last night, if you were watching the show, I'm sorry, and there was an electrical problem. We were all very worried because it was nearly a shock or so. I don't know how you can tell there's an electrical problem by saying, oh, there's an electrical problem. Then a guy ran in and, you know, it was one, a union guy. You could see half of his ass. He was bending over it. <laughs> it was delicious. Anyway, <laughs> Anyway, what, what happened was that uh, apparently this wire, which is dangerous in this studio if there's an electrical problem, because it leaks here. And <laughs> the forecast tonight is for rain in LA. So I could be killed. I thought that might keep you around. All right. I'll see you tonight. Craig Ferguson. Hey, hey. Hi, hey, come on out. I want to welcome. Welcome to Jack Club, California. Welcome to the Late Night Show. I am your host, TV Craig Ferguson. Thank you. All right, thank you. That's fine. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. You'll get your money. Sit down. <laughs> That's right, tonight I'm playing to an audience of entirely made up of prostitutes. <laughs> In my dreams. <laughs> oh, they're a very lovely crowd, though, tonight. You're very lovely. I... Can you feel the light? <laughs> How many bars of that song can I sing before it costs you a fortune? How many? <laughs> It's a great day for America! There you are. It is, though. It is. The stock market is fluctuating wildly. I haven't seen this much bouncing up and down since Clinton was in the White House. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what does that meant to mean? I, uh, you know, a shopping mall in uh, one of the shopping malls, uh, I don't know where it is, you know, a shopping mall, it's playing. Uh, Barry Manilow uh, music to drive away teenagers, apparently. <laughs> I think it's in the Midwest. Of the and apparently it's worked. <laughs> but now the mall is uh, infested with aging gay people. <laughs> Which, hey, uh, that is not bad news. If your mall is packed with aging gay people, you're going to be selling stuff. <laughs> and it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> well, maybe not aging gay people. Maybe they're... <laughs> Hey, there's music news I'm very excited about. Spinal Tap are reuniting for our tour. Yeah! Yes! Good job! That is great news if you want to laugh at old men playing rock music, but you can't afford Aerosmith tickets. Right there, you get this. <laughs> it's a very great day to live in the city of Los Angeles, because today, the LA County Board of Supervisors have declared the first week of March, and I'm not kidding you, no swearing week. <laughs> no swearing allowed in LA this week. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see them try that in New York. No swearing in LA all week and Christian Bale has left town. Coincidence? <laughs> you think, didn't the LA Board of Supervisors have something else to do? Let's see, unemployment's at 10 in Los Angeles, the gang problem is out of control, the air is unbreathable, let's get rid of the swear words. <laughs> it's all the 
thing that's causing the problems. I do not approve of the no swearing week, because I like swearing. Yes, I do. I enjoy it. Now, I'm not going to swear here on the TV. <laughs> Prostitutes love it when you swear. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I, I mean, I have been known to swear on, on TV uh, on occasion. It's always fun, because not only does CBS have to beep it, but they have to pixelate my mouth. <laughs> so you can't even guess. No, I suppose they don't want to offend lip readers. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care about lip readers. Lip readers are bastards. There, I said it. Take that, lip readers. What are you clapping for? I don't know why they're clapping. <laughs> you jerks. 30 years ago, the late, great George Carlin, who's sadly missed, he did a whole routine about seven words you can't say on TV. It was very funny, but it doesn't apply at CBS. At CBS, the seven words you can't say are, let's give Craig Ferguson a decent salary. There you are. <laughs> hey, never mind that. What about, I'd settle for a studio that doesn't leak when it's raining. <laughs> Actually, if you work for CBS, there's a lot more than seven words you can't say. I can't, I, I'm, I'm not kidding, I cannot say the name of certain animals. <laughs> like, for instance, a semi-aquatic rodent uh, like, that looks like this. <laughs> I can't tell you what it is. I don't see what the problem is, it's just a cute, wet, soft ball of fur. <laughs> A lot of people say that swearing shows a lack of vocabulary. I say, that's poppycock. Uh, balderdash, I say. Buckduggery, I say. I think a good swear word, creatively placed, shows mastery of the English language. The problem is, when people hear, some people, when they hear a swear word, they are so offended that they don't hear anything else. They hear the F word and they're like, oh, 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 oh. They hear the, 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 the Z word and they'll faint. <laughs> If you don't know what the Z word is, you haven't, you haven't spent enough time on the internet. Go and Google it, I'll wait. I must admit, I do a little swearing in my stand-up comedy act. Uh, this weekend, you can hear me swear at the Waukegan in Illinois. Did I say the Waukegan? It's a town called Waukegan in Illinois. I'm going there book early to avoid disappointment. I'll, I'll be swearing the whole thing. concept of the swear word is strange to me. I mean, you create words that are naughty to say, and then you don't let yourself say them. It's pointless. It's like, all right, there's a collection of letters, we're going to put them together. That's the word that we must never say. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's, it's completely stupid and pointless. It's like getting a hooker for the Jonas Brothers. It makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's not nice to swear in front of a lady, unless she swears first. I have to say, I don't, I don't like it when a lady swears, unless that lady is spanking me at the same time. <laughs> in which case, swearing is necessary, I know. Do you know what's a really rude swear word in Scotland, where I come from? Fanny. Oh, see, yes, see, if I'd have said that in Scotland, you'd be like, oh! See, over here, fanny is kind of a cheeky word, like, oh, fanny, but in Scotland, it's like, uh, fanny is, oh! I mean, it's really, really rude. I mean, I, I, try, I have to explain it. Uh, um, look, uh, I, well... <laughs> show me that picture again. That. <laughs> yeah! I was back in the old country and I heard people in America pat each other in the fanny. They wear fanny packs. I'm like, these Americans are out of control. I must go there at once. Do you know there used to be a TV chef in Britain called Fanny Craddock? And once, I know. And, 
And once she was doing a segment on how to cook donuts on the news, because that's the news in Britain, apparently. <laughs> this is true, I saw it. And when she was finished, at the end of the show, the anchor man said, Well, good night, and I hope your donuts turn out like Fanny's. <laughs> Awesome. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. George is the tie wrangler. He does all the costumes, uh, or the costumes, yes, that's right. When I dress up as, you know, Bob Barker. I, uh... But let's, let me tell you about George. Sometimes, because what he does is, you know, during the commercial break, he comes out and he's got this sticky wand. And if I'm linty, he rubs me with his sticky wand. <laughs> and I've got to be honest, Sometimes he rubs me with his sticky wand, even when I'm not linty. <laughs> I, I am such a douche. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I've got a bit of a... <coughs> Why do you say you've got a frog in your throat when you've got a thing? Is that a French expression? <coughs> <clears throat> Why you got a frog in your throat? Did people, did, people used to eat frogs back in the day. And I, I think what happened is that when you ate a frog, it made you cough. That's why we no longer eat them. Except for the French, but they only eat the legs. <laughs> and toads. People lick toads to get high. Did you know that? Well, you do now. Get out and enjoy yourself. No. The, uh, People like toads to get high. And I'm like, and I, you know, I tried it. Like in, it but it's, apparently it has to be a, a, a special type of toad. <laughs> you can't just run out and, you know, like a Well, you can actually go out. Because they don't have a pressure group that can stop you. <laughs> I, I'm sure, if they do, I'm sure I'll be hearing from them. But, uh, but I don't think toads would mind if you like them. I mean, who would that. <laughs> you know, run up and you get licked and say, I can't get you high, that's all right. <laughs> Look away. <laughs> I've wandered down an alleyway, I've no idea why I've come down here. What the hell am I meant to be talking about? <laughs> swear words? Oh, it's no swearing week in LA, isn't it? Yes. Hooray. Oh, thank you. I remembered that. <laughs> All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough swearing from me. I'm leaving town this weekend, I'm gonna be cussing like crazy. Out there in America where people are still free. But look, if you look out the window, look, you can, you, listen. No swearing. You imagine trying to drive in LA without swearing. Hey you, that wasn't very good driving. Have you been licking toads? <laughs> I have actually, but not the kind to get you high. <laughs> oh yeah? How did that work out? Well, the toads seem to enjoy it. <laughs> I've no idea what just happened, but we'll take a break and we'll be right back with the emails. The emails will be coming back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the big non-swearing show. I only sweared once, but we pixelated it and beeped it, so no one will have any idea what I said. <laughs> but it rhymes with... No, I can't even say what it rhymes with. They'll beep that, right? Oh, jeez. Yeah, all right. All right, well, I'll do the emails then. Will I play the email jingle? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to play the email jingle. I'm going to do the email jingle myself. <coughs> oh, it's email time again. All right. All right. All right. 
Yeah. Where's my residuals? Uh, all right, this is from Megan in Brooklyn. Um, Megan says, I'm a girl and I like to wear high socks too. <laughs> is a sock line sexy on girls too? Or can only guys pull that off? Oh, I know what she's talking about. Yeah, on the show I mentioned... Listen, uh, fellas, if you want to impress the girls, and you want to get the girls, you know, all kind of riled up and, you know, interested in you for things, then... <laughs> What you want to do is first bring up your trouser leg, right? And then pull down your sock a little bit. And then see the mark your sock makes? <laughs> Women go nuts for that. I mean, they might pretend that they're grossed out by it, but they're not. Do you know what's interesting, actually? If you look at that mark, and ladies, this is maybe a hint for you. Uh, Look at that mark on the guy's leg. You can tell how old he is by how long the mark stays. <laughs> so I'm a girl and I like to wear high socks too. Is the sock oh the sock line see and what Megan wants to know is the sock line sexy on girls too? No. <laughs> it's kinda like a mustache, you know? No. Did I say the wrong thing? Have I upset moustache-loving toad lickers? <laughs> All right, uh, I don't want it. That's from Canada. Uh, this one, yeah, this is from Jamie in New Jersey, which is in the United States of America. Thank you. Uh, Jamie says, uh, you're sloppy on set as you throw the emails everywhere. Is this how you are at home? Are you a sloppy or a neat freak? I try to be neat, but what happens is that I'm sloppy because I've noticed that any room is untidy as soon as I walk into it. The very nature of me being in a room makes the room untidy. It's like this actually, I'm not kidding, this, this suit is actually a pretty good suit. I wear it, it looks like crap. I mean, George is really, he gets the best suits for me. He goes down to, uh, you know, Bob Barker's dungeon, he gets them all out. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's just, I have this effect on things. I, I'm like King Midas, but for crap. <laughs> Look what I did for late night. <laughs> all right, um, mm -hmm. All right, this is from Lindsay in Columbus in Indiana. I'm going there soon. Uh, at the weekend, actually. Um, Lindsay says, Dear Craig, you're coming to Indiana soon. I know that! <laughs> I just told you! You're going to Indiana soon where we are famous for corn and ducks. <laughs> what are your feelings on corn and ducks? <laughs> you know, I get asked this all the time. <laughs> you know, Craig, what do you think about corn? What do you think about ducks? Should they be allowed to, to marry? And I say, you know what I say? I say, who am I to deny corn or ducks happiness? <laughs> Just because corn and ducks don't occur naturally together in the wild? <laughs> Actually, they probably do, really, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, ducks can go anywhere they want. They, they can fly. You didn't know? Yeah, they can. <laughs> well, I feel I'm learning things. You are! You are learning things. How do I feel about corn and ducks? I quite like ducks, uh, as long as they don't swear, obviously. Uh, <laughs> corn, corn I like, but it has a habit of, uh, how do I? <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, does, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, there's always a piece of corn that, <laughs> that just won't die, if you know what I mean. going with this yeah I didn't mean to go there but I went there. ducks though I, I like ducks they're delicious I mean lovely all right we'll be right back with more stuff everybody Welcome 
back. Sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. I've said it before. <clears throat> Actually, I googled it during the commercial break. <laughs> and I found out why, where it comes from, the expression frog in your throat. Medieval doctors, <laughs> these geniuses, <laughs> believed that if you put a doctor... A uh, doctor. <laughs> no, that's different doctors believe that. No. Medieval doctors believed that if you put a, a frog on your throat, it would take away the symptoms of any ailment you had. <laughs> People died a lot in the Middle Ages. <laughs> I can't understand why he died. I gave him the frog. <laughs> he had the best medical attention money could buy. <laughs> that was the best frog ever. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my first guest uh, is a lovely, lovely woman. Great big giant star, Emmy-nominated actress. It's always great to see her. Please welcome the incandescent Kristen Davis, everybody. Kristen Davis. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. It's you nice look to be lovely, here. may I say? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank well, you. it's true. Uh, uh, and welcome to uh, No Swearing Week in LA. <laughs> I, you know, I am the wrong, wrong person to even say that to because I was, you know, on a show where we were, you know, allowed to say what, whatever swear words we wanted to, but my character almost never swore. It was yes. a big deal if Charlotte swore. But in life, I swear more than all three of the other actresses put together. Really? Yes. Now, yes. I find that yes. hard to believe. I happen to know at least two of those actresses and uh, they cuss a lot. <laughs> But you know, really? I, I got to a point because my mom is just really, I'm from the South and it's just not what I was supposed to be doing. So I had to try because once you start doing it, you become just desensitized. You yes. know, I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Yes. And, uh, and I started to realize like, this is bad. You know, my friends have small children. I have to go to professional places where it's really just not appropriate. No, you know? no, 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 no. You should cuss more. Really? Yeah. And here's why. Remember, <laughs> I'll take you back a bit. Remember when you said they got desensitized? Yeah. Well, if you keep cussing, other people oh. will become desensitized to your swearing. I like that idea. Yes. I like that idea. I built a house, and I had it's a long process, not personally with the hammer Are we thing. changing Thank the subject, God. or is no, this still no, swearing? No, it's a swearing story because, right. you know, it's very frustrating. I don't know if you've ever done construction or whatever, you know. Yes, yes. It's I, very used to work hard. On, yeah, very, yes. very hard. Especially and, when you're and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably very entertaining, but... Yeah. Um, for me, it was, you know, I don't know a lot about it, so I had to trust these people to, you know, build things and things would go wrong and whatever. And um, these people that I hired were wonderful and they were recommended by a friend, but they're very conservative religious, the, the con uh, contractor. Yes. And something would happen when he would come over if something went wrong and I would just start saying, you know, and I don't know if it was, like, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me remind you. It's no swearing week in Los Angeles. My bad. Well, what if I spanked you and swore at the same time? Would that yes, work out? <laughs> Get up here right now. But we shouldn't do that in Los Angeles. I think Tijuana for that. <laughs> A lot more would happen if we did that in Tijuana, yes. Um, but anyway, I think something really? about... <laughs> if you go to that trouble to go south of the border, then... I know, kind of... I've never actually spent any time in Tijuana. Have, oh, you, have you? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Because you know what you can get in Tijuana? You can get those drugs, you know, like, like pharmaceutical prescription drugs without a prescription. So don't go. <laughs> I, I feel I could trust myself to not you do. buy them. Yeah. You do. See, for yeah. me, that's kind of like... Whoo, Oh, Ooh. really? Yes. Well, don't go then. Exactly, exactly. But well, where can you go? Where's safe? Because you could probably do that anywhere. Well, I mean, not here. You can't You just... can't. Out there in L.A. It's like a oh, jungle oh, out there. but not. I mean, well, that's true, but you'd have to go to, like, a dark place or something. I don't no, know. No, there's a guy I know. Like, really? Well, never really? mind. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beverly Boulevard. There's a guy who lives over there. Really? Yeah. Really? And he doesn't swear, yeah, which is great. Me, don't yeah. tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. No. So you had construction done in your house by right. Amish people? <laughs> no, they were like conservative Christian people. All right. Well, you can't make fun of them, but you can make fun of the Amish. You know why? They don't have televisions. <laughs> hey! They don't watch TV! That's true. Yeah? But they're so cute with their horses. And well, yes, they're cute, you know, I suppose. Yeah. With their, oh, let's really put a barn up in half an hour. You know? Yeah! That was Remember with Harrison Ford? Yes, I do I like, like that do you like movie. Harrison Ford? I love Harrison Ford. I love Harrison Ford, Ford too. Love him. Have you ever met him? I have. Really? I went to college with Callista Flockhart, his girlfriend. Really? Uh -huh. So do you do you uh 
um, hang out all the time? No. No. <laughs> but, when but you were at college with Calista, yeah. just stay with me, right? Okay, I can't Did you wait. ever find yourselves uh, like in <laughs> your <laughs> dorm room at night? <laughs> And you were kind of like bored. I set myself and you, up for that, didn't I? No, pillow I never, fight, no pillow no, fight. No, no, no. But she was in my roommate. I had a guy roommate, Michael. Hi, Michael, if you're watching. And um, he, she was in his class, and I was a year ahead of them. And one time I did come home, and she was in my house, and I was like, "This is interesting. What's going to happen here?" So there were like, it was a you know, college is very kind of um. Incestuous. Wait, wait, wait. We need a little more detail than that. <laughs> You can't just brush over something <laughs> as important in a young woman's life as this. <laughs> no, no, I, I think I, I can't remember what happened. I felt like I was intruding, so I think I had to go, actually. I think it was weird, and I had to go. But Calista and I were fine. We were, oh, we were friendly right. afterwards. Yeah. I, have you ever been up in an airplane with Harrison Ford? I have not, though I'd love to because he's a pilot. And, yes, and aren't you a pilot? I'm not like Harrison Ford. He's well, he, like, he's, he's Indiana yeah. Jones. I think he, I'm like, just some rescues chair. people who are, like, lost. Yeah, he's, forest, I mean, he's like, like the this, real right? thing. He's I like, know. don't worry, it's Harrison Ford. And he gets down Wouldn't and he jumps Harrison out the plane and his shirt you? gets ripped and he's absolutely. like, yeah. And he's probably wearing, like, a hat, yeah. right? Yes, absolutely. I, I have not been in a plane with him, but I would love to because I wish I could fly. I wish that I knew well, how to I could teach you. Really? But doesn't it take a very long time? Yeah, and you should get an instructor, yeah. Because if you, I teach you, you didn't really, because be. I would just want to fly you to Tijuana right away. I, it's probably not the best. That's true. It would yeah. Be bad, bad, bad. Do you fly a helicopter or no. a plane? No, a little plane. A little plane, but yeah. don't the little planes crash? First, I heard of it. When did you hear about this? Am I wrong? Uh, Am I wrong? I, I, I certainly hope not. Well, I did go and jump out of a little plane. Stop. Yes. Parachute yes. it or no yes. parachute? Just Yo, crazy. No, I had a parachute. And not only a parachute, I had a big guy uh, strapped to my back as well. Well, I had <laughs> that. But what, but what about... Really? Yeah. They oh, strap yeah. you to a big guy and jump out of a plane? Yeah, because that Can way... you have it without jumping out of the plane? Or do you just have to jump out of the plane? At the place I went, you could probably have whatever you wanted. Oh. Yeah, it was... Do a... you want a flying school? No. Right. No, but it was wild it was kind of wild and really really fun and um they they just you know they're like adrenaline junkies those guys who do that all the you time you jumped out of an i airplane? jumped out twice yeah i jumped out the first time and we took pictures on the way down for a magazine and then i had just you have a really intense crazy adrenaline rush like like when i got down they filmed me and i'm like let's go again and you would have thought i was like doing tequila shots all the way down but i wasn't so then i went back up and i did it again and uh and that time i was like i don't need a helmet you know i don't no know helmet. yeah i don't know what was going on that these people let me do this but i was like yeah yeah it's good it's good it's good so we went up to like thirteen thousand five hundred feet right and i mean these people they were taking care of me i don't mean to make mm -hmm. it sound like they weren't but i had no helmet and they didn't mention like that the helmet protects your ears you know because ah. when you're free falling i mean it's fast and intense you know because it's not just as well, very cold yeah. very cold and strange yeah. and and the ear like i was like ah and i was like that was dumb you guys should have told me to but you know the helmet on. you know if you jump out of an airplane at thirteen thousand five hundred feet yes. and your parachute doesn't open it doesn't matter about a helmet really so very, I mean, very, it'll very give true. people an idea of where to look, but right, none of that. Right, 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 right. That's worth something. That's worth yeah. something. Also, my hair, it made like a cloud of hair, so I kind of couldn't see, which was not that would be really helpful yeah. either. You It'd know? be like a special effect on the sci-fi channel. It totally yeah. was. It totally was. I was like, I'm in a, a brown storm or something. What? A brown well, because, I mean, you just don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Don't go there. No, don't no, go no. there. I forgot <laughs> who I was talking to. No, no. Look, tell me about your clothes. My clothes. I'm wearing a dress from my dress line. You have a, your own dress line. I now. do. I, right. do I, I sell. Do you make them? Well, sometimes, to the horror of the people that I work with, I do get out needles and thread and sew things, and they're just like, oh, because um, I'm just supposed to be like, you know, the famous person who you know gives ideas and whatever. But um, I get really into you it. And did you design this? I did not actually like like draw it, but it is an idea it's from a, one of my favorite dresses. It's yes. uh, certainly a lovely idea. Thank you. It's Thanks, a lovely Craig. idea, Thanks, and I'm glad Craig. you were. It's lovely Thank to you. see you, Tristan. <laughs> Thank Kristen you so Davis, much. Kristen Davis, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody. A terrific show for always happy having around my good friend Wolfgang Park, everybody. Thank you. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wolfgang, you threw this door at me when I was messing around with the camera, so I can't. We can't use this now. I'll put it in a. All right. I'll put it under my chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like where the gum goes. Be yeah, careful. Yeah. It will start fermenting under your chair over there, That's so you have right. to watch it once in a while. I have no idea what you're saying. I don't understand your accent. <laughs> I know okay. I always say that. Wolfgang, tonight we are going to make my favorite, the mini burgers, yes? You know what? I'm so tired of making your mini burgers, and I decided since you got married, you don't need mini burgers anymore, no? Well, why do I need mini burgers? Well, you, you, you can have sex at home now. You don't have to eat the mini burgers, no? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea the two things were related. Food and, food and sex, what are they there? Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess either, so. well, there's money. And, uh, yeah, but if you have food and sex, you don't need any money. That's true. But you can't get it without money. <laughs> Handsome like you are, you know. Yeah, you can, oh, come I'm on. sure you can get anything you want. If I could get anything I want, I'd have the damn roof fixed. That's what I would have. <laughs> And I, I will get more electricity here. Yeah, I think no, I'm gonna no, have to. Have... I'm gonna have to call Les Moonves up and. Well, say... you ha you have to use electricity now because what happened was I was using a puppet that wasn't flame retardant, and the fire marshal got mad, and now we have to use electricity for cooking. Oh, that's yeah. yeah no, it's very sad. <laughs> Takes I... a little longer. Well, not interesting. Either. We're gonna finish our little hamburgers here. I know you love them. I but, do. Uh, what else are you making? We're you... actually gonna make pizza today, which is one of your favorite tools. I right like there. the pizza and the burgers. And I'll tell uh, you this. I'll tell you this. When I, uh, do you ever play uh, tennis in the kitchen? Okay. Come on. <laughs> now here it is. Oh, come yeah. on. Well, all right, there you are. <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't Fif give me room. Come on. Fif you ready? Fifth in love. All right. right, right Fifteen. <laughs> no idea what you're saying. <laughs> ah, ah, curse you, Austria. Uh, let's go cook. It's better. All right. Now making the pizza though is really easy. Now. Put up your sleeve a little bit. I think you have to work a little bit. Oh, yes. In the old time, before the fire marshal, we had electricity. Uh, yeah, well, now yeah. we use our hands. So you mix the flour, salt, yeast. With your hands? Honey, with your hand. That's my really? mother. My mother made it for 50 years like that. Really? Your Austrian yep. pizza, eh? What do you mean? A Scottish pizza. <laughs> Scottish pizza. <laughs> That's right. Deep fried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Look, it uh, no, looks like... No, no like, more, like... I've scooped out his brains! Uh, if you do it long enough, you end up just like that. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna... All right, I will make the pizza. We let him need here for another, another hour. Okay. How, uh, how long is the show? Uh, too long. Uh, <laughs> whenever I'm on. All right. Then... Hey, 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 hey! What this is now? Bob Barker's <laughs> shit, my oh, friend. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, stop! Stop, Wolfgang! Stop! We know you love it. We I do, love it, I see? do. Okay, now enough. To clean your hands because I think we have to I'm continue I'm not finished making... rolling my ball yet. Oh, well. <laughs> you never had a big ball like that? Yeah, oh yeah. It's funny, they're, they're never the same size. You would think they would be, but they're not. <laughs> All right, but All right. I, oh, you've got some you prepared I, I, earlier. I, I, All right. I made some already because we have to go on with the show. If All not, right. uh, Peter Lasalle is going to fire me here. How, how, do you, uh, how did you learn how to make pizza? Because you're Austrian. They don't well, have pizza Austrian. in Austria, No, no, they? we eat everything. But uh, I think uh, I grew up 10 miles from Italy, and then I lived in South of France where we had a lot of pizzas and a lot of interesting and good ones, too. No idea what you said. Okay. okay. <laughs> you understand out there what yeah, I'm talking they about. Yeah, understand, yeah. See, she knows over the hump. Hey! Nice pass. All right, now they're going to help us. Look, we all have right. the whole audience here helping. Yeah. All right, so you're clean now? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm fine. Okay, did yeah, you yeah. take a shower this morning? Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose, kind of, yeah. Okay, now, let's put up a little flour. So what happened is the dough comes like that, then, if you right. need it long enough, you cut it into four, for example. Right. Like this. Okay. Tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck? Tuck, tuck, and all then right. you form little balls like that. Oh, little balls. All right, you roll them gently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, huh? I do like that. You, it's the first time I've noticed this kind of energy between us. <laughs> I thought you learned it because you got married. I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the wife? Yeah. All right. Where's now, your wife? Did she so, ever come here? No, 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 no. She's no. at home spending money. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not at home. If she comes oh, to yeah, Spago, maybe. Oh, yeah, you can do on the internet now. Uh, oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, 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 you can, yeah. Okay, so now we have that. We are that far along. 
Okay, let's that stretch doesn't it look now. like a pizza to me. Well, you form the ball, let it rest for half an hour or to an hour. Oh, right, great, yeah. And well, then you flatten it out a little bit like that. Excellent. Now, do I have to hit it as gaily as you hit it, or do I hit it just like a straight guy? Like that. <laughs> is You're that like this. Is that a straight guy? Yeah, well, that... <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> I've been all over Europe. Uh, okay. Probably in Amsterdam. Yes, yeah, Amsterdam especially. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever go to the I Milky know. Bar in Amsterdam? <laughs> no. I Things know, can I go downhill in the Milky Bar in Amsterdam. All right. So all now... Right. I like when you do that. I'm going to do yeah, that too. Okay, yeah, now yeah, I'm yeah. a <laughs> All right. right. All right, come on, let's get on with this. All right, now we stretch I'm it nicely, okay? dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Come. Okay. Oh, look at the state of this thing. All right, now you stretch it. All right. How is the lady over there with stretching it, or was it a guy who it's was stretching it? It's a guy with long hair. What happened? <laughs> All we right. we yeah. allow long hair yeah. in America, Try one more. Yeah, All right. Oh, no, don't give it. That's the yawning lady. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Good. Now we got it. All right. Okay. Excellent. Look oh, at you that. Like that? Uh, for a Scottish guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an American. Now, are you an American citizen? Absolutely. I'm good, an American good. citizen for a long time already. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, you, you yeah. still didn't learn English, so yeah, I don't no, know what come on, do with you. Okay, no. <laughs> I, 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 you know where I was at the weekend? I was at your uh, restaurant in Las Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I was in Vegas too. Actually, I did this big benefit for Keep Memory Alive, you know, for Alzheimer's. And oh, yeah? Siegfried and Roy were performing. And I hear next door you were performing at the MGM or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Thanks for calling me. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for inviting me. I did invite you. Oh, and but... I just happened to invite you after the fact. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh. Hey, careful, don't. That's a knife. That's a sharp right. knife. All right, now you put that's it. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> don't touch it. All right. All right, all can right. we. Uh, oh, the burgers. Oh, yeah, all right. No, no, right. first, let's finish the pizzas here. Uh, the burgers. You wanna, the okay, burgers, I make uh, the burger. You do the pizza over there. Go all right. The, the burgers, the burgers. What is that here? All right, did I just put toppings on this? Huh? Did I put toppings on this? Okay, you can put tomato sauce on it. You right, can put I'll, whatever I'll you that, like. I'll on do that big gesture that you do, the kind of. Oh, uh, oh. All right, make it nice. Cheese. Yeah. And. Put, and I, I think we're all learning how to make pizza here, everybody. Uh, uh, there you are. And, and then. I make you a few nice burger here so that we, we hey, don't burn. Hey, were you the guy that first put pineapple on pizza? I didn't put pineapple on pizza. I put smoked salmon on pizza. That you was the first thing. Son of a bitch! <laughs> you don't I, put smoked salmon on pizza. You know the pepperoni is what you want on a pizza. No, if we put smoked salmon and caviar and a little truffle, it's really delicious. My three-year-old son Oliver loves truffle pizza. Oh really? Yeah. Isn't truffle pizza very very expensive? No, yeah, it's expensive. It's okay. It's my son. He can, uh, he can do it. Oh, yeah, because that's right. You're an Austrian super billionaire. No, no, you're right. <laughs> that lives in a hollowed out volcano with your army of robot skeletons ready to take over the world at a moment's notice. Sound familiar? Sound completely familiar. Thank you. How do you know all that stuff? I don't know. We have to take a break. Can we finish this and then eat it okay, after yeah, the break? Yeah, all right. Sure. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with food, everybody. We'll gang pub. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, look at what Wolfgang did during the break. Look at that. Look at that well, lovely pizza there. In, in five seconds. Look at that. We don't have much time, Wolfgang. Let's get eating. No, oh, let's get right. eating. The pizzas are ready. Look More at that. Cheap. Mm. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, it's TV, yeah. Oh, it's TV. No, you have a good oven here. Yeah, a good oven? Oven, yes. Yeah. Uh, how you call it? In, uh, uh, in Scotland? In your native language. <laughs> but an <laughs> oven? <laughs> oven? We, we, all, we call it a fire. A fire, yeah. okay. All right. Fire burning hot. Okay, well... Hey, look, the, 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 uh, the mini burgers are ready. I'll just check them, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to have a little pizza with the audience here. What? All what right. do you think? All right. All right. Wolfgang makes the pizza. Mm. I'm having the mini burger. We gotta go, Wolfgang. We're out of time. Mm. Uh, you can check out his product at any airport in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang, fuck everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>